welcome to video number 9 this is SQL reporting service and today we are going to learn how to create a shared data sources and how to use it alright so as the name suggests shared data sources something which is you going to be reusing again and again so that's shared right so in the solution explorer you can see the data sources and the shared data set now the thing is like this is uh, my cool uh, you know the database uh, I'm sorry my instance for an SQL so likewise I can have the other instance as well instead of this I can have uh, like uh, I'm not sure SSR still exist so I do have the different instances so data source would be different for him and data set would be different for this guy as well right so if I'm working with the cool database the cool instance alright so I would like uh, my data source to be steady because I know that it will be keep on pointing at this instance only so I don't need to worry about this guy right so that's why that's what we're going to do we're going to create uh, a data source so either you can choose this way or you can go like add new data source you gonna call this data source as generic or generic because it is using the code right instance and then you're gonna say uh, edit <coughs> the typical story and then you're gonna say call and then you say alright so every time you'll be connecting to not when test connection okay okay so this is done so on the right hand side you can see we have a data source now it's our time to add a report so I'm gonna choose a report and this is hopefully my fourth report am I right yes so I'm gonna choose fourth report I'm gonna hit add and okay now I got data set and data source so in order to quickly wrap this demo what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the table onto the screen the moment I do that I get a prompt which you all know and it is saying uh, it's saying that he is trying to create a data set right so I'm saying all right uh, let's use the uh, the data set embedded in my report all right and the data source uh, you don't have any idea where is the data source we don't have but you say you'll say that right now just created a connection <coughs> right so over here it is trying to do that but there is a special option called as use shared data references source and when you check on that and you drag down you see your data source all right so this is pretty cool use single transaction when processing a query so you can use that option as well <coughs> so okay and as usual I'm gonna write the query by myself select star from customers and hit okay <coughs> the moment you do that you can see your data source is actually is kind of sharing it's kind of pointing towards this guy the data set is ready alright so again company name then contact name and finally the city that's it let's save it and let's preview in the browser and you can see the all data is there right so this is sharing a data source is pretty cool now why because like in every report so far I have done is like every time I have added a report like this add and then I again <coughs> went down like add a data source and instead of why I need to add a data source when I'm connecting every time in here so why don't I create something more generic so that's why I chose this option to use this right so I hope this video gives you an idea how to create a shared data sources and it depends like when you want to use it it depends like you know you want to create a report for one set of in, uh, instances of a database which is located on this machine then you can do it if like there are different sets of database which are kept on the different servers and machines then in, a, in that case you'll be using some different mechanism right so I hope you like this video uh, if you like this video then please subscribe and thank you for watching bye bye